THFTP made one of the most disrespectful tracks in Chicago history, and eight years later, it allegedly got him brutally killed right in front of his kids. It's one of the craziest hits in Chicago history, and today we're breaking down what happened and why it might spark the bloodiest war in Chicago yet. On February 8th, 2024, THFTP had just picked up his daughters from school and was walking down the street with them and a woman who was allegedly his girlfriend. They were on the west end of the city on Madison and Long when two shooters pulled up and started letting off shots. It's not clear what THFTP did, but they obviously really wanted him gone. TP was murdered right in front of both his daughters, who ran away screaming while their dad was being shot to death. After the shooters let off over 20 shots and killed TP, they hopped back in the whip and drove off. TP came up on the south side and might have thought he was safe since he was on the west side. THF was cool with a set from the area called Low Block, and TP was cool with a rapper from the set named Nico Montana. Nico Montana allegedly put in a lot of work in the trenches and went viral for robbing a DJ in the middle of the street. Being clicked up with dudes from the west side like that might have made TP feel too comfortable. According to reports, TP was holding a poster for one of his daughter's school projects when the shooters hopped out, so obviously he wasn't expecting the ops to get the drop on him like that. What makes the situation even more tragic is that TP allegedly signed a record deal right before he was killed. He had been making music since around 06, and it looked like all the hard work was finally about to pay off. In an interview with 16 Shot of Visuals, THFTP said he came up getting into trouble all the time as a kid. He was throwing rocks at cars and getting into fights from a young age. Then as a teenager, he hopped off the porch and started catching more serious cases. Back in the day, TP wanted to be a ball player and was always good in school. But by the time he was a sophomore in high school, he already had both feet in the trenches. TP ended up dropping out later that year because he had too much going on outside in the streets. But unlike a lot of street dudes, he actually got his GED later. After he started rapping THF 06 and dropped out of school, TP's hoop dreams were over. And that's around the same time he started rapping. This was way back before drill was even a thing. And TP was inspired by Chicago artists like Twista to hop in the booth. He never really popped off like a lot of his homies in the rap game. But in 2014, TP made headlines with a track called Bus Stop. THF has been beefing with a set called 051 for years. And back then, a dude named Lil Mark was putting in work for 051 in the booth. THFTP's homie Lil Dirk had a track out called Competition, and Lil Mark remixed the track and sent some wild disses. Lil Mark kicked the track off by dissing a bunch of dead BDs with the line, Baldy Pack, Mosky Pack, Tasty Pack, Lil Rob Pack, Wake Up, Ate a Bowl of Tricks, While I Was Blowing on D-Thang, Riding Down to Steve Drive. Think I'm from the OD, took a trip to LA, Waquita man, she throwed me. Lil Mark was also the blood brother of a GD named Shondell Gregory, or someone more famously known as Tuka. Tuka's death is one of the biggest reasons the war in Chirac even started in the first place. And Lil Mark shot a Tuka out with the line, rest in peace my brother Shondell, 300k nigga, dot L's. Heard a young nigga, yeah, out of jail. Try to get me, tell him, mission failed. Then Lil Mark took a shot at THF and rapped, Hollow tips, nigga, all in my clip. Tatiana, nigga, all in my dick. And my niggas doing drills, you could ask for six. The track popped off because it was one of the most disrespectful songs in the drill scene. But then just three days later, Lil Mark was shot and killed at a bus stop, just like his brother Tuka. Lil Mark's death was a huge loss for 051. And THFTP clowned him on the track bus stop and rapped, so I keep my head up, can't go broke, so stack or starve. Cause you know my niggas hot, we known for sending shots. Smoking Mark with the bros, got my eyes bloodshot. I'm on my block, came from the bottom, I'ma make it to the top. Don't get your ass found like your homie by that bus stop. THFTP got a lot of buzz for dissing Lil Mark, but nobody knows who really ended up killing Lil Mark. Street rumors are that King Von, D. Rose, and THF Twilla allegedly took Lil Mark out, and D. Rose even pulled up to the scene after Mark died and clowned him in a video. Von, Twilla, and D. Rose were also tweeting about the situation a lot right after it went down. According to rumors, they caught Lil Mark the first time a couple days before and tried to kill him, but Lil Mark got away. Then on March 28, 2014, they allegedly finished the job, but it's never been confirmed if they were the ones on the hit or not. Back in the day, King Von was tight with a lot of THF dudes, but TP and him actually had some beef. 
Vaughn aired out TP on Twitter for not helping him when Vaughn got into a fight behind bars in Cook County Jail and said that THF TP was a thief. According to Vaughn, TP and him were both locked up with the ops. Some dudes from the other side were dissing. So Vaughn started throwing hands and TP never jumped in to back Vaughn up. THF TP had just been hanging out with Vaughn in Atlanta and apparently some money came up missing. According to TP, Vaughn didn't say anything until TP was already out of Atlanta though. TP said, yeah, I let your ass get whooped in 2011. I ain't know you and I don't remember you. Then he denied touching Vaughn's money and said his homies were probably out spending it. THF TP also aired out King Vaughn for putting street business on the internet and told Vaughn, thanks for the followers though, my boy. One of TP's homies jumped in to back him up and said that you could leave 20k around TP for a week and he wouldn't touch a dime. It looked like the beef was heating up for a minute, but then Vaughn and TP dropped the issues out of nowhere. According to TP, it was all just a misunderstanding and he squashed everything with Vaughn before Vaughn was killed back in 2020. TP and Vaughn settled everything before both of them died. But in order to explain why TP's death might spark a whole new war in Chicago, we gotta go back to where THF 06's beef with 051 Young Money started. According to THF TP, the whole issue started with dudes fighting in school. Back in the day, they were just throwing hands. But eventually, everyone started getting guns and bodies were dropping on both sides. 051 Young Money is mostly made up of Mickey Cobras, but also has some black disciples and gangster disciples mixed in the crew. They run a big area on the south side and control hoods like Hyde Park, Kenwood, and Eastern Grand. THF, aka Trigger Happy Family, is based on 45th, 46th Drexel to Woodlawn. They don't control as much territory as 051 does, but they've been around a lot longer and are one of the most notorious crews in the city. According to most reports, the first body that dropped in the war was a dude from 051 named Los. On March 13, 2008, Los was standing on the 4800 block of South Drexel Avenue when two shooters rolled through and started letting off shots. Franco and Boo Boo from THF were allegedly the ones who slid on him, and Franco ended up getting charged and going down for the murder. Later that same year, THF took out another 051 affiliate named Zico. Zico wasn't really active in the streets and was going to college, but he came up in 051 territory and was cool with all the gods. According to reports, Zico came home from college and went to McDonald's with one of his homies. It's not clear exactly what happened, but apparently a fight broke out with some THF dudes they ran into at the McDonald's and Zico ended up getting shot to death. A key from THF was the cop's number one suspect but he tried to do the race and went to Indianapolis to hide out. The police eventually tracked the key down though, and now he's serving 27 years in prison for the shooting. What's wild about the situation is that some THF affiliates posted a video right after Zico died and basically confirmed they were the ones behind the hit. After Zico died, a lot of 051 dudes started going by the name Zico World, and Zico's homie 051 Montana started putting major pressure on THF. He allegedly killed Quint and Tony from THF in the same year, and some reports claimed he's killed over four THF affiliates. But even though he was allegedly putting in major work for the set, rumors say that Montana ended up flipping on another 051 member named Arrow, and now the gang isn't rocking with him anymore. One of THF's most notorious shooters is a dude named Bay Zoo, and in 2009, he allegedly slid with his homie Brubra and killed a dude named Dominic who repped a set called Dirty Low. Bay Zoo got locked up for the murder in 2014 and spent three years fighting the case. But before it went to trial, the whole thing got tossed out because they didn't have enough evidence against him. Bay Zoo beat the case, but he claims that Brubra snitched, and that's why he got jammed up over the situation in the first place. Before he got locked up for allegedly killing Dominic, rumors say that 051 Melly killed Lil Durk's cousin Nooski in 2014 after Durk clowned Lil Mark's death and made a video at the bus stop where he died. That wasn't the only one of Durk's homies 051 Melly allegedly killed though. Durk dropped a remix of Chief Keef's Finito track and shouted out THF Bay Zoo with the line, finna pull up to the zoo nigga, loose nigga, free my nigga zoo, he a loose screw, shoot nigga, we don't give a fuck. Who is you, nigga? On the same track, Keith took shots at 051 and rapped, Twitter niggas throwing emojis by my name. Bitch, I'm riding through the ops. Finna go and shoot young money up. Grease my trigger finger, it ain't stuck. That's why 051 Melly allegedly slid on Dirk's manager, OTF Chino, and killed him a few days after the track dropped. Chino also repped THF, 
In 051, Melly clowned him by posting a video of himself eating a burger from the same place Chino was killed and calls it a Chino burger. Just like me a piece. Yeah, Chino burger. That's what they said. <laughs> THF wanted revenge for Chino's death. And rumors say that Bezu's stepson, Raheem, slid with THF TP and shot 051 Melly and his homie Ario. Both of them survived the shooting, though, and Raheem had a big target on his back after trying to take him out. Then, just a couple weeks later, 051 Melly and Ario allegedly caught Bezu's stepson, Raheem, lacking in an alley and shot him to death. 051 Melly didn't go down for the murder, but in the video, Melly said that someone shot him and then ended up dead a few weeks later. I got shot two weeks, he is bad. It wasn't just THF and 051 losing people, though. And in 2015, 051 allegedly killed an innocent teenager because they thought he was with THF. Taiwan Point Dexter wasn't gang affiliated at all. He was just a normal 15 year old who wanted to go play basketball with his homies. His mom didn't want him to go out though because she knew how dangerous the neighborhood was getting. But Taiwan begged her to let him go and eventually she gave in. While Taiwan was walking down the 4400 block of South Greenwood Avenue with his homie to go play basketball, someone rode through and started letting off shots. Taiwan's friend was hit in the leg and survived, but Taiwan got shot in the head and tragically died on the scene. According to rumors, Arrow from 051 was out sliding that day and killed Taiwan because he thought he was with THF, but nobody was ever booked for the murder. It went down on Raheem's birthday, and Arrow was allegedly looking for THF affiliates who would be out celebrating. The next loss 051 took was when a dude named T. Berg was shot and killed on a 200 block of West Garfield Boulevard. According to rumors, THF Rome and Tracy were the ones who killed him. And during an IG live session with 051 Drilla, Tracy pretty much confirmed he was the one who took T Berg out. What you hear, Terry Berry, nigga? What, what? you hear? What? what are you talking about? What hey, look, hear? man, you gonna go to jail, I clap bro. all y'all up there, boy. <laughs> you gonna go, go to jail. So 051 didn't wait long to clap back, though. On November 30th, 051 Melly allegedly caught a THF affiliate named Trayvon on the 6800 block of South Cornell and left him dead in an alleyway. Then just a couple days later, THF responded by allegedly killing a dude from 051 named Sharp Matt. Then in March 2017, one of THF's top dudes was getting out of prison. THF Bobo had been locked up on a murder and robbery charge since 2015. But after a couple years, the murder case got dropped because the prosecutors didn't take it to trial fast enough. Bobo was one of the most feared dudes from THF. He was known for robbing anyone he caught lacking. And rumors say he killed a couple of 051 affiliates too. He was definitely one of 051's biggest ops back then. And the way they got at him may be one of the craziest hits in Chicago history. According to rumors, Bobo's release date got leaked to the ops while he was still locked up. Montana and Driller from 051 allegedly got the info, and when Bobo was released, they were already there waiting for him. Right after he pulled away from the jail, another whip came up and started shooting. After they killed Bobo, the shooters ran a red light and crashed into another car and had to run away on foot. Bobo allegedly had plans to leave the hood right after he got out of jail. People close to the situation say he knew that there was a huge target on his back and the ops really wanted to take him out, but unfortunately, he never got the chance to leave. Bobo's death had a major impact on THF TP. He hopped on IG and warned the ops that he was going to be sliding for his homie, but it's not clear if TP ended up catching anyone. Drilla and Montana weren't booked for the shooting, but Drilla dropped hits that they were the ones behind it on the track 51 Dead Ops after he rapped, come get served, trying to catch every play. I really slide through the six every day. Really for Lil Mark, think about him every day. Fuck it, finna get disrespectful. I hit you with my right one, Montana hit you with the left too. Bobo, wish they would've came and got you. Bet LA wish he ain't walk out the back too. After 051 Trilla and Montana allegedly killed Bobo, THF was looking for get back. One day, twin from THF ran into Drilla on the street and Drilla started chasing them down. While they were running, THF twin up the strap and hit 051 Drilla three times, but Drilla made it out of the situation a lot. The war between THF and 051 cooled off for a while after that, and the big reason is since 051 lost one of their main shooters, 051 Melly. It wasn't even the ops who took Melly out though, and instead it all started over some dice game drama. Back in the day, 051 was clicked up with sets like Taekwon World, Jarl City, and STL EBT because a lot of their top dudes were cool with each other. But according to rumors, 051 Melly started beefing with a Taekwon World affiliate named Nate over a dice game. 
Melly was really one of the most reckless dudes in the city. And after the drama started, he allegedly rolled by Nate's house and shot up the crib while Nate's baby mama and newborn baby were inside. Luckily, they didn't get hit. But after that, it was on site for Nate. 051 Melly went to a party with some Draw City affiliates and other GDs like FBG Duck, and they warned him that Nate and his homies might show up too. Melly wasn't worried about the situation and stayed. But later that night, Nate pulled through and shot 051 Melly to death in the middle of the party. The war between 051 and THF calmed down for a little bit, but the rest of Chicago was still just as crazy. And in 2020, THF was allegedly involved with one of the most shocking murders in the city. FBG Duck had been putting pressure on the BDs for years in the booth and in the trenches. He was one of the most well-known GDs in the city and was starting to really pop off in the rap game too. It was looking like Duck would be the next big drill rapper to go mainstream, but then he was brutally killed by the BDs in the middle of one of the richest areas of the city. A bunch of dudes from O Block went down for the murder, but it all started with THF Teasy. TZ spotted Duck while he was shopping in the Gold Coast neighborhood, a wealthy shopping district in Chicago, and THF TZ dug into a shop to call for backup. The BDs definitely wanted to take Duck out, and rumors say that King Von even put a bag on Duck's head. But it wasn't just street beef for TZ though. According to reports, FPG Duck was hooking up with TZ's baby mama. Duck got with TZ's baby mama way after TZ and her broke up, but TZ was still pressed over the situation even though his baby mama wasn't even with Duck anymore when he died. TZ was so petty about the situation that he texted the woman a bunch of laughing emojis after Duck died. When TZ spotted Duck, he really wanted someone to take him out, so he called up his homies in O Block and allegedly told him that Duck had him trapped inside a store. According to reports, TZ told him that Duck was there with his crew and chased him down, so TZ and his homie ran into a shop to get away. Rumors said the dudes from O Block didn't want to get involved with something like that in the Gold Coast neighborhood because they knew crashing out in a wealthy area in the middle of the day would bring a lot of heat from the cops. But TZ told him he didn't have a way out, and that's when five of them hopped into two whips and sped over to the shopping area. They caught Duck in the middle of the street and brutally killed him in broad daylight. But it turned out that TZ was capping about the whole situation. Duck was with a woman out shopping for his son's birthday present and definitely wasn't sliding on the ops that day. THF TZ ended up going down with the rest of the dudes for murdering Duck, and rumors say THF TP was killed as revenge for Duck's death. TP had a lot of history in the streets though, and in 2022, he allegedly caught an 051 affiliate named Lil Law and killed him. According to reports, Lil Law was walking through THF territory with a woman when someone spotted him and started letting off shots. Nobody was ever booked for the shooting, but after it happened, THF affiliates like Bruh Bruh clowned them on social media for dying in their hood. And right after TP died, Lil Greg from 051 posted Lil Law, which usually happens when someone's killer dies. After the video of TP's death came out, his homies warned everyone not to be spreading it around. THF Twilla said that if anyone posts a video of TP getting shot, that means they want smoke. But then 051 Driller hopped in and told him to stop complaining about it and said, I don't want to hear none of that crying shit about the video because when my video was going around, it was on every odd page. Suck my dick. Nobody knows who pulled the trigger on THF TP yet, but THF will definitely be trying to get back at whoever was behind the hit. After he died, THF Bezu hopped on IG and said he should be preaching peace, but you know how it get. What's crazy is that just one day after THF TP died, 051 Kittle got locked up on a weapons case. Kittle just came home about a year ago after being locked up since 2012. And during a parole check, they found him with a stolen gun and found out he had another warrant out for his arrest. Back in the day, Kittle was allegedly putting crazy pressure on the ops, and some people claim he caught three bodies in less than a year. The cops never booked him for a murder case, but they caught him breaking into houses and allegedly threw the book at him because they knew how active he was in the streets, but didn't have enough evidence to get him for any of the murders. 051 Kiddo actually shared a cell with King Von for a month when they were both locked up at the same time. Some people claim that Von put hands on Kiddo while they were inside, but Kiddo said it was all good even though they were ops. Von definitely fought a lot of ops in jail including Kiddo's homie, 051 Freaky. But he never talked about fighting Kiddo, and it sounds like they didn't have any drama. As soon as the news broke about Kiddo getting booked on the weapons charges broke, a lot of people thought it was connected to THFTP's murder. But right now, there's no evidence to back any of that up. It's not clear who exactly took THFTP out yet, but unfortunately, the violence isn't going to end anytime soon. THF has been one of the most active sets in the city for years, 
and there's probably no way they're going to let it go without clapping back. People say that THFTP was really trying to turn his life around and make it in the music industry. He's been in the game for years, but always had one foot in the trenches at the same time and never really popped off. Rumors say he just signed a record deal before he was killed, which makes the whole situation even more tragic. 